actually Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security uh, reform are at, they're in my top two priorities. That's one of the reasons I went back. In fact, uh, the deficit that we have now um, is largely uh, impacted by entitlement spending more so than anything else. In fact, if we cut all discretionary spending, that'd mean military, national parks, roads and highways, uh, waterways, if we cut all discretionary spending, we still have close to half a trillion dollar deficit. We can't get there without dealing with some major entitlement reform. That's why I voted against the budgets uh, that have gone up because they've just kicked the can down the road. The Medicare Board of Trustees says that Medicare goes broke by 2022. Um, they're nonpartisan. They're just, you know, actuaries that are looking at the numbers and the trends, and they've said it will be broke. And if the prognosticators uh, of the past are any indication of how things are, it's going to be sooner than 2022. Um, and then Social Security goes broke in 2032, 10 years later. So um, on Medicare, um, I think it was a mistake uh, to put one more entitlement in, in uh, to Medi uh, Medicare with Medicare Part D. Had I been in Congress at the time, I would not have voted for it. I think it was a big mistake. Having said that, I think the reforms that have to happen to Medicare, um, we're going to have to change the retirement age. We have to, both for Social Security and Medicare. Um, to me, it's the most uh, non-bad of the bad solutions that are out there. And I think that we have to gradually do it. Um, for people that are 55 uh, or younger, I think people that are um, that are you know set to retire in the next year or so, we can't do that. They've been planning on it, but I think that for 55 year olds, you add a year, you go down, you add another year. I think you get down to uh, people entering the workforce. Uh, we're going to have to get the retirement age up to about 72, and I think that um, works well with the, the uh, mortality tables because when we started Social Security and Medicare. The uh, mortality tables were showing Americans living to be a median age of 63. It's now 77. And so I think it's fair and I think it's reasonable and I think it's one of the least uh, harmful on the public uh, ways that we can do it. Uh, may have to look ultimately for Medicare on means testing, um, but we can't keep kicking the can down the road. Now those are painful things and I've mentioned that every time we've had a budget. That is a top priority to me. On Medicaid, I'd block grant all the monies back to the states with no strings attached. I think that states can come up with more innovative ways to deal with their indigent care uh, than the federal government, and I don't believe it's the federal government's role. I think that ultimately the states would do a lot better job, and I think if we block granted it back with no strings attached and let them come up with their own ways of doing it, um, ultimately it'd be a lot better process. 